I think it's interesting your panels don't clip your pencil art. When you draw, you can see things past the borders. Ah, okay. So let's take a second and hopefully you can hear me. Uh, let's take a second and I'll explain what I'm doing there. Somebody just uh, chimed in and said that, oh, hey, Josh, how you doing? So somebody just chimed in and said that it was interesting that uh, that I was drawing, they could see my drawings past the panel border. So let's let's do a real quick process thing here. So I have a sketch folder and that exists underneath all of my panels. See, I've got word balloons, floating panels, floating panels, row one, row two, row three, and sketch. And you'll notice there's a little blue pencil here. That's because I set that up under layer settings as a draft layer. And I'll explain what that means in a second. All of those are underneath all of my uh, all my panels. So I can sketch and go all over the place and move things as I need them. And you'll see I got a bunch of different layers inside of there. Okay, reference that I brought in from other places. I, I all kinds of different colored layers so I can draw things and make somebody closer. Like, for example, if I want to move her a little bit closer, I can do that without ruining his drawing. Then later when I do the actual inking, I'll select the actual panel, put my inking layer in there, and now those panel borders do what they're supposed to do, which is to crop your line. And the important thing here about that draft la layer is that since everything in this sketch layer is set to draft and, and every new layer that I make inside of there, let's say I make a new layer right there and I make that one a red layer. that's automatically a draft layer because it's inside the draft layer uh, folder. So anything once I make that folder a draft layer, anything that I put inside there becomes a draft layer. What does that mean? When I finally am done with this and I go to uh, export it, which is save as duplicate Photoshop document, and I send it off to Alex so she can make it look good, uh, that everything that's set to be a draft layer disappears and does not get exported. That means I've got a smaller file size. I don't have to worry about something that I sketched showing up in the final art. All of that stuff is gone. 